Hi there, this is Dr. John Whitcomb talking about biotoxin illness part two. Why are the symptoms so weird? This is interesting. You have to first understand how the illness gets started. You see, we aren't getting sick to an organism invading you. Biotoxin folks are people whose uh, immune system can't see the toxin. That's about 24% of us. Uh, 2% of us are catastrophically blind and are literally crippled. And that can be found by HLA genotyping, as though we are testing you for a transplant. In those folks, the biotoxin gets in and sets off uh, the complement system all over your body and what are called uh, various uh, cytokines that circulate through your body and damage the leptin receptor in your brain. And then that sets off a whole cascade of, of brain dysfunction in your primitive brain, in your hypothalamus, what we share with lizards and snakes. So your innate system, our immune system really has two layers. The innate system is simply reactive. It's friend or foe, and it just attacks. And it's like calling the 911 system and setting out alarms. But it doesn't have a clue where to send them to. The adaptive system is much more sophisticated. It can make antibodies that are specific and can respond. It's not the, adapt it's not the adaptive system that's reacting. It's that innate system that we share with alligators and snakes. And that's firing off, setting off all these weird complement systems working on the basic part of your brainstem, which is why your symptoms are very non-differentiating. Uh, they set off very strange functions because it's setting off the fundamental hormones of your brainstem. And that's why the symptoms are so weird. So Dr. Shoemaker on his website, Surviving Mold, has multiple places where you can look up the list of symptoms but if you have seven to eight of, of his list of 30, and imagine symptoms like ice pick pain or burning eyes or loss of memory or extreme fatigue or muscle aches or skin burning or peeing 15, 20 times a day or having shocks on your skin, static electricity shocks. We'll explain that in a later, why that happens. All of these symptoms don't make sense to a traditional doctor and into traditional chaining. And I'm a board certified internist. If you came into me and told me eight of those, I'd look at you and say, you are wacko, but you're not. And that's the genius of biotoxin illness. Once we sort it out, that should be opening up your ears and saying, I know the way to fix this. Dr. Shoemaker says 100% of people can be fixed if we follow his whole program. So why are the symptoms so weird? because they come down from the very most primitive parts of your brain. What will work for me? Well, my ears have gotten pretty used to listening to it. In the last six months, I've probably measured a couple hundred people, and I'm batting 90% for finding folks who can't figure out what's been going on and have seen 15 other doctors. And the fun thing is, together, we're working to get them fixed. This is a thrilling prospect. It should be for you too. There's hope. We can fix biotoxin illness. This is Dr. Whitcomb explaining why the symptoms are so weird in biotoxin illness.